right? In this session, we're going to talk about how to create construction planes that we're going to need to be able to use on odd shaped parts. And especially if we want to write Ford Access programs. So let me show you how that's done by creating a hex shape part. And for that, we're going to have, first of all, make sure that we are set to top, that we're set to 2D, and then we're set to zero right here. Then let's right click, make right construction plane active, and then we're going to create a polygon. So this menu opens up. We're going to do a six sided polygon. So that'd be a hex with a radius of two inches. And then it says select the position of the base point. So we're going to let it snap to the origin. And there's our hex shape. So we rotate it and we can make a solid out of it. So we're going to extrude. We're going to select the chain. We're going to select that shape. Click OK. And then the arrow is pointed away from us. So that's good. We're going to create a body. We're going to make it six inches long. And we click OK. So when we turn solids on, there's our hex shape part. So we'll go back to top. Now, if I want to protrude a pocket into this top surface, then I can do that in the top view. That face is looking right at me. You know, OK, so the only thing I need to do is click on Z down below here. Let it snap to that top surface puts two inches. Remember, that's a two inch radius hex that we just created. Then we'll go back to the top. I'm going to turn the wireframe on. I'm going to just randomly create a pocket or a window right here. OK, so that's sitting right on top of that service. I'm going to extrude that. I'm going to make a little pocket. OK. So the arrow is pointing down, so that's good. We're going to cut the body to a depth of a half inch and click OK. So there's our half inch deep pocket. OK, so that's easy to do with a service that we have a construction plane for, which in this case was top. Now we have right, we have bottom, but right now we don't have a front because if I look at the front, I don't have a flat surface. So now I need to create a construction plane. So here's how you do that. You go into planes, you select a plane by solid face. You select that face and it gives you two options or two views. OK, now what you're looking at is this little X, Y, Z coordinate system that is sitting on that surface. And you look at it the way the X, Y, Z is pointed. So we have two options here. We want that X to the right, that's plus, Y away from us, that's plus, and Z towards us or to the top. Okay. You want X plus, Y plus, and Z plus. So that's the one we want to pick. So we click OK. Then we're going to give it a name. So we're going to call that side one. And click OK. So now we have a construction plane that's called side one. So if I go on the planes and I go to named views, I now have one that says side one. So I click OK. If I click on G view, named views, and I click on side one, it actually makes me look right at that face. So now I'm able to click on Z, let my cursor snap to that service. Now that is saying zero and that's because that little coordinate system is attached to the top of that service. OK, now ultimately we would want this coordinate system to be right here where the, the main coordinate system is. The way you do that is you go into WCS. Click on View Manager. We click right here on the line where it says Side 1. And notice it said minus 3 and 2 inches right here. We want to set all that to 0. Okay. 
that's zero. So now notice right here, it has a little plane that is skewed that 30 degrees. So that's parallel to that surface that we are trying to work with. So now when I click on G view, name views, side one, and I click Z and let it snap to that service now I'm back to two inches because the origin for that service is now right here where the main origin is okay hope that makes sense so now again we go into name views side one okay I can create a square pocket click OK so you can see that's now sitting on that service we're going to create a solid, extrude, we're going to grab that square, and we're going to cut the body half inch deep, and click OK. Alright, so that's how we create a construction plane that we can then use to create a 4th axis milling file.